How cold is it in space? Get ready to explore how cold is it in space? In a whole new way. From in-depth discussions and expert insights to exciting experiments and mind-blowing discoveries, we're here to entertain, educate, and inspire you. So let's get started. Space is often portrayed in science fiction movies as an incredibly cold and freezing place. However, in reality, space itself doesn't have a temperature at all. Temperature is a measurement of the speed at which particles are moving, and heat is the energy that particles possess. In a truly empty region of space, where there are no particles or radiation, there is no temperature. Understanding Temperature in Space To understand the temperature in space, it's essential to consider the presence of particles and radiation. Space is not completely empty. It contains particles and radiation that can produce heat and temperature. The temperature in space varies depending on the region and the presence of these particles and radiation. While space isn't cold in the traditional sense, it can still have extremely low temperatures in certain areas. The temperature near stars. The hottest regions of space are found immediately around stars. These regions contain the necessary conditions to initiate nuclear fusion, which generates intense heat. When radiation from a star reaches a spot in space with a high concentration of particles, it can warm up that region. Earth, for example, is warmer than the region between our planet and the sun because of the particles in our atmosphere that vibrate with solar energy and distribute heat through collisions. However, proximity to a star and the presence of particles are not always indicative of warmth. Mercury, the planet closest to the sun, experiences extreme temperature variations. While it is blisteringly hot during the day, with temperatures reaching up to 800 degrees Fahrenheit, 427 degrees Celsius, it becomes frigidly cold at night, with temperatures dropping to as low as minus 290 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 179 degrees Celsius. The coldest places in space. The coldest known places in our solar system are the ice giants Uranus and Neptune. Uranus experiences temperatures as low as minus 371 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 224 degrees Celsius, while Neptune has a surface temperature of minus 353 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 214 degrees Celsius. These extreme cold temperatures are a result of various factors, including the tilt of Uranus caused by a collision with an Earth-sized object early in its history. Additionally, far away from stars, particles in space are spread out, making heat transfer through anything other than radiation nearly impossible. This region is known as the interstellar medium. The coldest and densest molecular gas clouds in the interstellar medium can have temperatures as low as minus 505 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 263 degrees Celsius, while less dense clouds can have temperatures as high as minus 279 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 173 degrees Celsius. Cosmic Background Radiation Cosmic background radiation refers to the electromagnetic radiation that is present throughout the universe. It is a crucial piece of evidence supporting the Big Bang Theory. This radiation is often observed in the microwave wavelength range and is known as the Cosmic Microwave Background Radiation CMBR. The CMBR is the afterglow of the Big Bang itself and provides insights into the early stages of the universe's formation. Measurements of the CMBR have shown that the temperature of deep space is approximately 3 Kelvin, 3 K, slightly above absolute zero, due to the residual energy from the Big Bang. This radiation is used to create maps of the early universe, revealing temperature variations and patterns that help astronomers study the structure and evolution of the cosmos. Temperature Variations in the Solar System Temperature variations exist throughout the solar system and are influenced by various factors. Solar Energetic Particles CEPs, and Galactic Cosmic Rays GCRs, contribute to these temperature variations. CEPs are associated with solar flares and coronal mass ejections, which can cause acute radiation syndromes and short-term effects on human space missions. GCRs, on the other hand, are energetic charged particles, likely originating from supernova explosions. They consist of protons, heavier ions, and a small fraction of electrons. While CEPs exhibit sporadic large fluences over short periods of time, GCR flux is lower but constantly present, 
posing long-term effects, including potential cancer risks for astronauts on long-duration missions. Understanding and mitigating these temperature variations and radiation effects are essential for designing safe exploration missions beyond Earth's magnetic shielding. Conclusion Cosmic background radiation, specifically the cosmic microwave background radiation, CMBR, provides strong evidence for the Big Bang theory. The CMBR is the afterglow of the Big Bang and is observed as microwave radiation throughout the universe. It helps scientists map the early universe and study its structure and evolution. On the other hand, temperature variations in the solar system, influenced by solar energetic particles, SEPs, and galactic cosmic rays, GCRs, pose challenges for human space missions beyond Earth's magnetic shielding. SEPs can cause acute radiation syndromes, while GCRs present long-term effects, including potential cancer risks. Understanding and managing these temperature variations and radiation hazards are crucial for ensuring the safety of astronauts during space exploration. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. And remember to turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update.